Back inside the den for AJHL hockey, the Grizzlies welcoming the Canucks on Saturday night. Lowen Kenyon making his AJHL debut in net. Not the start the Lloydminster product was looking for. Less than two minutes in on the power play. Canucks work the puck to Dylan Clark. He goes far side for his fourth of the season. Clark, a dangerous player. He shows why here, picking his spot to put Calgary on top early. Later in the period, clear the tracks for the Raymond Express. Kieran Raymond absolutely levels Riley Bodner. Chuck, the rookie blue liner, trying to light a fire under his team, and it does the job. Midway through the frame, the Grizzlies strike with a power play goal of their own. Nice pass from Dawson LaRue to Trenton Curtis, and the Saskatchewan product buries his fourth of the season. We are tied at one. Before the period is out, Calgary's power play strikes again. With just 32 seconds remaining, a point shot from Jason Chu beats Kenyon far side. The veteran defender has his first of the year, and the Canucks have a 2-1 lead going into intermission. Second period starts with another solid hit from Raymond, then Kenyon comes up big. A turnover leads to the Canucks getting a golden opportunity in tight, but the rookie keeps that one out and keeps it a 2-1 game. Raymond keeps throwing the body around and once again it ignites his teammates. Noah Hackett taking the puck for a skate on a four on three power play all the way from his own end lets the shot go. Calgary netminder Sam Philpot gets a piece of it and Dawson LaRue going hard to the net. He's the one to push it over the line. LaRue second of the season ties the game at two. Hard work paying off there and a big third period on the way. Less than a minute into the final frame, bad luck for Kenyon. Puck bounces right to Brett Moravec, and the University of Wisconsin commits, slides it under the rookie. Canucks retake the lead, they're up 3-2. Moravec with a chance to ice it later on, gets around one man, outweights the diving defender, and gets in alone, but this time Kenyon puts the brakes on it. Huge save from the 17-year-old, it's still a one-goal game. Late in the period, another power play opportunity for Olds. Noah Hackett's big blast goes wide, but a fortuitous bounce off the end boards ends up right on the tape of Kyle Wallace. He rips one past Philpott. We are tied at three. Second of the year from Wallace forces overtime. In the extra frame, CKFM's Galen Hartvigson with the call. Johnson. Asked for Benoit, working up there by Curtis. Benoit then got a stick on it. And then Curtis get it out of the zone, they get it to Clark who moves right in, shoots and scores and the Canucks get the skate away play and win this game 4-3 Grizzlies with several chances to clear the zone. Carter Benoit keeps it in at the blue line, taps it to Dylan Clark, and he does the rest. Top shelf for the OT winner. Calgary takes it 4-3. Grizzlies fall to 1-7-2 with the loss. These two teams meet again April 23rd in Olds. For 96.5 CKFM, I'm Jeff Dick.